Mr. Francisco, hello, sir. Anoche, Mr. Teacher. Hello, sir. Anoche, yeah. compañeros. No lo hemos visto por acá. Sí, hombre, estamos trabajando duro por eso. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea, that's the idea, sir. But you're back, which is, which is what matters, all right? Eso es lo que importa, gracias. If you have any questions about the classes we covered, uh, you're more than welcome, sir, to ask. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Cesar, hello, sir. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. And Miss Sarai, of course, right? <laughs> hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Okay. All right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, let me share with you the uh, class for tonight on a PDF through the chat, all right? So just one second over here. Let me just one second here. All right, so today we will talk about the future, right? using the structure be going to. So the name of the file I'm sharing with you right now is called be going to future, all right? So I think uh, the uh, file is being sent to you. And there you go. Maybe we're not gonna have enough time to cover all the exercises over there, but at least that's, let's see, the guideline that you are gonna have, all right? Let me share the screen with you. So this is the document that I shared with you uh, just right now, okay? Uh, and uh, we will cover the months and dates. Um, conversations in you know, a birthday plans, uh, grammar focus, which is the uh, future with be going to, um, pronunciation reduction of going to and listening if name plans, right? Let me just one second more. One second. O sea, básicamente les estoy compartiendo la pantalla de lo que vamos a, a, a estudiar esta noche. Eh, pero esto va a ser como, this, this is going to be the second point in agenda for the class. All right. So talking about this is interesting. It, it's exciting. Uh, and we have many examples, listening, reading, conversations, the grammar, filling the blanks exercises. We will cover the months, the dates, all right? We will do some interactive exercises for this class, all right? So hope, hopefully more people will join and, uh, and enjoy and help us practice. Ojalá se se una más, uh, más participante para poder eh, ocupar los breaker rooms, all right? And, and that's, that's, this is gonna be the second thing, all right? El segundo punto en agenda que vamos a cubrir este día. The uh, first thing will be to finish our topic about um, hotel reservations, all right? And in this class, you're going to learn the difference between accommodation versus amenities, all right? There is going to be a, a Venn diagram or a diagram in there which you need to classify the amenities versus the accommodations. And we're going to start with that. All right, so just one second over here. Entonces, en esta clase vamos a aprender la diferencia entre los servicios que le dan en el hotel 
y el, el cuarto en sí, ¿verdad? O los lugares que usted puede visitar en el hotel, o que tiene acceso o que le cubre el booking, que es la misma reservación. All right, so just one second. So we, we, we're going to start with the vocabulary. And once we finish uh, that specific topic, we will start with the future, with be going to, the conversation, listening, uh, grammar, uh, etc. Okay, so just one second over here. Just to let you know, everyone, that I'm using the uh, manual that Insafor uh, provides us with to uh, start the class right now. So let me just one second over here. One moment. All right. I'm about to share the screen with you in a second. Permítame, vamos a compartir pantalla. There we go. So basically, my job is to help you understand the difference between accommodation versus amenities. And uh, if I read the definition in there, it says accommodation is a place such as a room in a hotel where travelers can sleep and find other services. Entonces, accommodation is la habitación, por ejemplo. Okay. Eh, un lugar en el hotel. The lobby the swimming pool, the, um, the lounge, for example, the bar, okay? So, donde los viajeros o los huéspedes pueden dormir o, o, y encontrar otros servicios. Esa es la definición de accommodation. On the other hand, ¿verdad? Tenemos amenities, y se ocupa en plural, ¿verdad? Amenities. The features of the hotel that are available for guests to use. For example, all right, a gym, a pool, a mini bar, a jacuzzi, uh, and like the conversation we covered yesterday. So remember the conversation about a room that costs $80 plus taxes, like 10% of taxes. So that's the reason why we covered that conversation. So right now, I'm going to take you on a tour I mean, not to a hotel, right? Because I cannot show you pictures of a hotel, right? Sure. Yes. In some cases, amenities are free or included in the accommodation. For example, when you can use a gym or the pool without any pay, additional, without additional pay. But mm -hmm. for example, the mini bar, or another amenity that there's an there's an extra charge that's what yes. you're saying right correct yes. yeah to be honest with you i actually have someone next to me right now here at home uh working for a uh let's see this company in which clients uh call to make uh, hotels reservations so i have an expert next to me right but i <laughs> i cannot give you details yeah but you're right sometimes uh, the customers call to make a, a reservation and they ask for the uh, accommodation, which is the room service, okay? The place, all right? They ask, I want a queen uh, bed or the, or the other one or a single room, for example. And they ask what the, the room includes, right? Like you're saying, maybe a, a cable TV, access to the, to the gym, all right? Maybe a free breakfast. Laundry. The laundry, laundry service too. Correct. Uh, service to the room sometimes. Um, if it also has a free breakfast, okay, or a free dinner. Or, I mean, it's not free, right? But it's like all inclusive. That's the name. All right. All inclusive. That's the name. Okay. So, but the point here, uh, my friends, is to distinguish the accommodation part versus the amenities. Okay. L like I'm saying over here. And for that, I'm going to use the following uh, uh, diagram. Hold on, please. It should be here. One second. All right. Let's see. All right, here we go. Hold on. Um, should be this one. All right. So uh, very quickly in your notebooks, draw these two circles. One the about accommodations and the other one about amenities, all right? And what you have to do is classify 
the accommodations and the amenities, all right? For example, maybe the swimming pool. Uh, so remember the amenities are all the services in a hotel that depending on the type of booking that you made or the reservation that you have or you purchase will include or not the different services like cable TV, mini board, a, a gym, spa, uh, Wi-Fi, which is something given for granted by the way. All right, so right now we're gonna try to classify this individually for the next, let's see, uh, four more minutes until A15, the most. And then I will send you to a breaker room so you can compare your answers with the classmate. And then I will take you back, los mando los de regreso, so we can double check uh, the, uh, let's see, the auctions, okay? that you put over there. Entonces, hagámoslo de forma individual. Tenemos tres, cuatro minutos. Luego vamos al, al break room. Comparamos. You compare. You get back. Regresamos. And then the, we double check. All right? As a class. Um, let me ask you, Miss Zulma eh, González, do you have any questions or any doubts that I can help you with? Pues por el momento no sé lo que van a hacer, teacher. Ok. Classif me voy a guiar ahí por lo que vayan a hacer los compañeros. Bueno, en teoría tenemos que hacerlo de forma individual. Solo lo que tenemos que entender es la diferencia entre los servicios que a usted le dan por, por reservar, hacer una reserva, ¿verdad? En el hotel de una habitación y en realidad el, el, la habitación, ¿verdad? Entonces, o, o los lugares que usted tiene acceso, digamos. Ok, entonces eso es lo que va a clasificar. Es decir, ¿qué le incluye a usted? Pues lo que está, lo que, lo que usted reservó. Esos son los servicios, right? Amenities. Entonces, mm. lo que vamos a hacer es eh, tratar de clasificar, ¿verdad? Lo que cae de la, del 1 al 12 este, en accommodations y lo que cae en amenities. All right? Ok, teacher. Ok. Gracias. Yo guapo. All right, so let's see, like two more minutes. Okay, two more minutes. And the total is. Como una pista que les puede ayudar, vamos a clasificar la cuestión de accommodations como la habitación, ¿ok? O el lugar específico o el tipo de lugar que usted. Puede ser un hostal, un hotel, este convencional, ¿verdad? Puede ser unas cabañas, para darle un ejemplo. Teacher, is the cabin similar to courage? Like a courage, correct. It's okay. a cabin, okay. yes. Okay. Yep.
Micrófono, 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 teacher. Yes, sir. Gracias. No se escuchaba, tenía el micrófono apagado. Oh, ok, ok. Gracias. Está, estaba pidiendo asesoría por acá, no es broma, fíjese. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious over here. Cuando les digo que tengo aquí, a, que me están asesorando, es muy cierto. Right? I'm serious. Y Mr. Raúl Meléndez entiende de verdad. Because he, he has somebody who works for that industry as well. Okay. So just to double check, my friends. In here, we need to understand that accommodations is the type of place or the type of room or hotel that you're going to book. Que usted va a reservar. ¿Verdad? Así lo vamos a entender. Uh, por la cuestión del manual también, ¿verdad? Está un poquito raro la, la lista que está ahí de los lugares, ¿verdad? But, but basically, it's only three places. Si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Así, uh, off the top of my head. O como ojo de buen catador serían three actions over here under accommodations and the rest si no me equivoco quiero ver if I'm not mistaken nine uh, amenities in there o sea que any service okay which is a benefit of your booking is considered uh, amenities right like uh, using the swimming pool for example I remember Back in 2018, uh, I went to DC as part of a school, uh, let's see, uh, trip with some students in there. And the booking included uh, Wi Fi, access to the swimming pool, the gym, uh, uh, let's see, and breakfast, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. Those are the amenities, okay, that the booking included, All right? Just to give you some examples in there. All right. Nice. So let's do something over here. The, let me send you to a breaker room very quickly. You just try to discuss and see if uh, your, the, let's see, classifications are correct or if you can make some changes. A ver si hacemos unos cambios por ahí. And then you get back, right? You have, you have to go back over here and, and double check everything. And we get to an agreement. Llegamos a un acuerdo. Okay? Esa, esa sería la idea. Um, here we go. All right, so join the rooms, please, very quickly. Okay, please help each other, but ayudémonos mutuamente con esto. The chargers. Hey, teacher. Y yes, sir. Hey, do you read in WhatsApp? Sí, ahí de que va a <laughs> echarse por ahí algo. No se preocupe. <laughs> aquí, me, aquí me cae la, la notificación, pero no le contesto ahorita. Bueno, no le contesto, bueno. pero, pero sí, ya, ya. No problem. Go ahead, eh, me, go voy, ahead. me voy a unir a la sala por mientras y, All right. y estar a nombre de todos. Ok. <laughs> ya aprovecho. Thank you. Thank Enjoy, you. Enjoy, Ok. Miss Carmen, you just joined the class. Or were you in the class already? I'm sorry, Miss Susana, were you in class already? Hi, 
I? Yeah, were you in class before? Right. To hear the explanation. No sé si escuchó okay. la, la explicación. No, 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 no. Okay. No, I'm sorry, no. That's okay. So basically what we're doing is uh, classifying the accommodations versus amenities. And you have 12 options. You have to put three options under accommodations and the other nine under amenities. Amenities are the services that you get when you book a room, cuando es una reservación. All right? And the accommodations is the type of hotel or room that you can book. Ese lugar, ¿verdad? O, o el hotel específico, el tipo de hotel que usted reserva. All right? So uh, your classmates are working in a breaker room, they, you know, in order to see if uh, what they did, it's okay. Entonces están ahí como corroborando o comparando. All right? So I'm going to send you to a breaker room, if you don't mind. Okay? Sí, no breakfast es accommodation, es un hostal. Eh... Aunque también en un hotel uh -huh. damos ese servicio. The breakfast, the breakfast. Ajá, breakfast es también un hostal. Ajá, uh -huh, le dicen uh -huh. así también. Uh -huh. okay. You're right, sir, you're right. Es, es sí, como, como los que tienen allá en Cuba, de que uno puede ir a... Como una, es como, como una casa donde los cubanos le pagan al Estado y le dan mm. a uno el desayuno. Ok. Ah, okay. No es necesariamente un hotel, pero sí es un... Uh, yeah, yeah. Particular Exacto. house, ok. Mm -hmm. a, a, a mini, a mini. De hecho, hay una, hay una, una aplicación que se hizo por ahí que... Ah, we're not supposed to make Airbnb. Uh, you, you, you know what mm. I mean? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Okay. Ahora vamos a ver. Mini bar, hard dryer. Hard dryer, mini bar, Podría cable ser... TV, amenities. Amenities. From eh, service. From service. To... Podría okay. ser porque a veces no todos tienen. Es para dormir. ¿Por qué? Spa, no, spa, amenity. Yes. 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 No, Vaya, hay otro de en, <risa> en el high speed wifi eh, a veces high speed hay, wifi. hay hoteles que tienen como como un centro por así decirlo de información uh -huh. donde uno puede también imprimir documentos yes. yeah, es para uh -huh. Entonces, Correct. es un amenity uh, yeah. ahora yeah. Ca amenity. cabin yeah. cabin cabin cómo es cabin. Es cabaña, ¿verdad? The cabin. Yes. Oh, yes. Courage, oh, courage. Accommodation. Tipo, yeah. vendrían siendo como los hoteles de, de, de ¿cómo se llama? Así de... Chalacanago, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. like, ah, like, like, like in the mountain. Mountain, mm -hmm. right? Ajá. Uh -huh. At the mountain. Exactly. Correct. The mountain. Ya llegamos That's a los dos. Yes, we finished. You finished already. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Sí. So, uh, one more minute and we come back. All right. Okay, okay. Thank you. Teacher. Muy bien, muy bien. Yes, I also remember when I went to, to that hotel, there was, uh, there were like two or three computers, no, like two, where you can uh, navigate the, the, the web. And also you could print, let's see, like your reservation, okay? Mm -hmm. Or any other document that you needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Hey, you're watching okay. the news. <laughs> hey, ¿quién es? Raúl. Yeah, I guess he's, I don't know, or Miss Carmen, I guess. I was confused, you know, when I uh, saw this uh, bed and breakfast, because I have no idea, so I have to look for it or ask somebody else, right? Because that happens in the States. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> like like NASA, Mr. Raul, you know, three, two, one, launch, right? <laughs> nice. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's see what you have over here. All right, let me just one second in here. Yeah, believe it or not, I also learned from you in the, in the breaker rooms in there. Si usted, si usted pone en el buscador, so if you Google uh, bed and breakfast in the search bar, you're going to get some results here in El Salvador. For example, we have Hotel Villa Terra, that is a bed and breakfast, uh, real uh, bed and breakfast, and then you have some others over there, which I'm not supposed to say the names. They are local, so you too has nothing to do with that. All right. So that means that a, a B and B is an a, accommodation, right? Okay. Correct. So I think I'm sharing the screen correctly, and uh, I'm going to mention the name of the uh, let's see the auctions in here, and then you tell me if it's accommodations or amenity. And I want everyone to open your microphones. Pues no importa que si se escucha como que. Eh, no sé, estamos en el mercado o algo, pero that's okay. All right. So swimming pool. What is it? Amenities. Yeah, correct. Amenities. Yeah, I think, yeah, I have a better idea. Okay. Let's do the accommodations. And by trial and error or by process, process of discrimination, es decir, por descarte, process of, of discrimination or trial and error, prueba y error. So then the, 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 one that are, the ones left are amenities. So let's start with accommodations, please. Who would like to help me? Number two. All right, so we have hostel. Number five. And... Let um, them breakfast, B and B. All right, hold on. Accommodation. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write everything over here. So I'm just gonna write the number because we don't really have the time over here. So number two, you're telling me it's a uh, accommodation, correct? Correct. Number yeah. five. Uh, you see, num what about number three? Yes. <clears throat> Con convention hotel. Is that accommodation? Accommodation. No. Okay. A number five, bed and breakfast, right? Yes, it's uh, number five, B and B, correct. Then uh, what else? Uh, sorry, teacher, number three, what? A conventional hotel? It's like the place you go there, like... Uh, uh, no, uh, it's... Um, ¿Cómo le dijeron en inglés? Uh, el salón, the hall. Uh -huh. Donde hacen una convención, oh, más no, yeah. la gente, más no la gente se, se aloja. Yeah, That's you're right. Yeah, it's not, it's not a conventional hotel. No, 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 it's a convention. It's like if there's a conference or if there's a graduation, yeah, it's not part of what you book. You're, you're right, you're right. Yeah, it should be number two, number five, and 12. 12. Is that correct? Um, what is cabin? Cabin is like a, a type of hotel which is in the mountains, like a cottage, como una cabaña, digamos, un hotel, como cabaña. Uh -huh. um, like a uh, Cerro Verde. Like La Palma. Uh -huh. Okay. La Palma, right? Chalate. La Palma. Yeah, if yes. I'm not mistaken, yes, correct. Uh, I'm going to say the one in my, in my hometown, like in Berlin, there's a, there's a place over there called Hostal La Casa Mía, which is a great place. All right. <laughs> gran, gran comercial, right? It's a big commercial over there. I'm not getting paid, by the way. <laughs> Infor, informercial. Como Infor, infomercial. Infomercial, infomercial, correct. Over here. Bro, brought to you by Insafor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that means that the rest, you know, swimming pool. Uh, I think I can add uh, this, you Number know, three. swimming pool, the uh, convention hotel, right? Safe. Yeah. The save, a uh, hair dryer, dryer, mini, mini bar, 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 of course, right? <laughs> All right. That room, room service, service, spa, spa or mirror, <laughs> high, high speed, speed Wi Fi. Wi -Fi. All right. So those are amenities over here. Okay. 
Nice. You see the technology is beautiful. I, I didn't have to type anything. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, let me send this screenshot to you with the answer. Pasemos en la copia. All right. So just one second, come over here. All right, hold on, please. Now we're going to use my time, the travel machine. Vamos a ocupar una máquina de tiempo and, and we, we, will, we will travel to the future, right? <laughs> Why? Because we're going to start talking about the future, right? Talking about the future. Así en la broma, eh, voy a decir esto en español. La gente que estaba estudiando inglés hace cinco años. And the teachers uh, asked uh, their students, how do you see yourself in five years? Nadie se imaginó en medio de una pandemia, right? COVID-19. <laughs> that happens. People say, I will be married. I will uh, have children, maybe a new job. I will start paying for my house, etc. But nobody considered that this was going to happen, right? So that's why we're going to use our time travel machine and see if you can guess what's going to happen to you in the near future. Vamos a ver si podemos... Eh, pronosticar quizás un poquito what I'm talking about and just to put everybody in the context of the class I share with you the following document perdón permítame quiero ver si ya les pasé esto no les ha caído right, just one second. no sé si les pasa a ustedes pero a mí casi no me sincroniza muy bien el um, whatsapp del desktop y con el que tengo pues a veces por la señal ¿verdad? entonces tengo que ingresar a la, al grupo there you go, you got it, ahí está la copia right <laughs> nice, so what I'm talking about is the following everyone, so I share with you uh, let's see this right, this creo que si alcanzan a ver donde están los números y las fechas ahí yes, you see the dates in there and the math yep yes, right Months and dates. Months yes. and dates, correct. So there's there's this uh, PDF document which I shared with you at uh, 802 today. Esto ahí lo tienen ustedes. Toda, es toda una unidad. It's six pages over there. So if I were you, I would start reading this and, you know, and, and get familiar with whatever we're going to study uh, this evening. Aquí está lo que vamos a ver hoy y posiblemente mañana. Okay, just with a couple of minutes tomorrow. So that, there you have. Uh, Back in the days, this is the text, uh, I would say, this is the material that uh, I used to learn English. You know, me, Jose Alfaro, I study English at uh, Universidad de Salvador, you know, in some uh, courses, like, just like this one. And uh, this is the material that I learned English with, all right? I, I Actually, I started learning English with this one. Así que, hay fe, verdad? <laughs> all right, there is faith. All right, so, and that's what you have. Si ustedes se preguntaban de dónde saco el material, ¿verdad? Como ahí tengo yo reciclado, y uno nunca sabe, ¿verdad? So, just to give you an example in there. Nice. Now, I want you to take a look at my presentation over here. And uh, let me mute your mics. And then we take it from there. So, as you can see, we will start with the uh, months and that dates i also remember that mr melendez asked me like a couple of months ago like uh, um so when are we going to, to study the uh, months or the dates like first second and third which are ordinal numbers and this is the opportunity sir all right this is the opportunity so right now let me play this listen up take notes and then we will practice, right? Our pronunciation of this, okay? Just okay. one sec, come over here. All right, here we go. Unit 11, what are you going to do? Page 72, exercise one, months and dates, part A, Listen and practice the months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, 
August, September, October, November, December. All right. Now let me play it again and please pay close attention to this one. All right. February, January. Pay attention to that one, please. Um, and this one, right? August. So one more time. Hold on. Unit 11. What are you going to do? Page 72, exercise 1. Months and dates. Part A. Listen and practice the months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. Now, so repeat after me, please, with your mic off. All right? So January, January, January. Como que voy a decir Janet? Voy a decir January, right? January, February, right? February, February, right? February. February. That's a little bit difficult, right? So February. So February, just like that. March, April, May, June, July, August. La A y la U es una O. August. Y este es una O también. September, October, November, and December, right? So January, February, March, April, and you continue, right? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. December, right? January, February, March, and you continue right there. All right, so uh, the most you practice this, uh, I mean, these months, uh, I would say the better your pronunciation will be. Lo mejor que usted practique, verdad, más rápido va a aprender. Now, let's take a look at the chart below. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. Um, so you have first, second, etc. cetera, all right? But what you're supposed to do, let's do this in your notebook, all right? Let's do it in your notebooks. Uh, or you can do it or, or, or not, right? So no problem. You have to fill in the blanks or complete the dates. Like for example, over here, you have to write, you know, number three right there and then, write it down you know with this thing in there which i'm gonna give you uh you know the spelling and everything in a second ya le vamos a, dar, a ver el y todo eso. um listen up please i'm gonna play the 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 audio so you can uh, listen to the numbers okay which are used to talk about dates from first till 31st del primero al trigésimo primero okay that's where we're going to study right in a second so just one moment please just one second let's see if there's a listening over here or i guess it's going to be me you know who's going to be playing this hold on no i found it Page 72, Exercise 1, Part B. Complete the dates, then listen and practice. Are you listening? Yes. First. Okay. Second. Mm -hmm. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. All right, so let me pause it just for a second. Yes, you have, you have to speak like this, así con la Z, la Z, like that. <laughs> All right? Yeah, right now it's good that you have a mask, right? But back in the days, you, you know, you throw a lot of your saliva to somebody else, right? Con las mascarillas, ahorita ya no tiramos saliva, ¿verdad? Pero back in the days, <laughs> okay? 
I'm serious because you have to you have to do like the the F, you know, the F sound, you know, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and just like that, right? Of course, when you mention this in the middle of a sentence, you know, you do it less. Verdad, lo hace menos, disminuye el, la fuerza de voz cuando lo dice en contexto. All right? When you say it that way. But we're not going to really listen to the whole thing. I'm going to say it for you better. All right? So I'm going to say it for you better. No, porque lo hago mejor. Solo no por cuestiones de tiempo. So you go first. No vayamos a decir nunca, por favor. Fears. All right? Fears. No, that doesn't exist. Okay, you say first, and you say second, third, igual que acá, third, no, I'm going to say third, no, 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 third, fourth, tratemos de poner la, 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 th, 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 o cuando dice thinking, o, o si fuéramos españoles, zapato, right, like that one, okay, so you got sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, La escritura del 9 es distinta, as you can see, right? Spelling is different, but the pronunciation is, is almost the same, just with the TH. 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, if they continue, verdad? 15th. And when you get to 20, you don't say 20, you say 20th. 20th. Like, this is 20, 20th. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, y continúa, verdad? Lo mismo. And then you go 29th, luego llega el 30th, 31st, y lo demás es history, right? Let me close this, All right? Let me close this and share the screen of, let's see what I have over here. This one, take a look, hold on. Hold on. Let me explain, you know, how to make this, all right? The ones you need to pay attention to is first, second and the third all right so the spelling is that way all right because la terminación es verdad esto último lo que se le pone verdad vamos a hacerlo un poquito más grandecito ahí está verdad lo que se le pone aquí al primero la s y la t que es lo último de la palabra de acá that's what you do second you do the same over there because what you do is this one all right la n y la d and third is the same thing, right? Because you do third, lo último es this one and that, that one more, there, right? Okay. From number fourth until the number, uh, uh, let's see, ninth or tenth. So things doesn't change, right? I mean, uh, this doesn't change what I mean. So you go del cuatro en adelante o del cuarto, agregamos TH. Si usted lo pone en números. Okay. So that's what you do. Basically, that's what you do. Why? Because el cuatro se vuelve cuarto con la TH. ¿Verdad? En español nosotros cambiamos la palabra, ¿verdad? Decimos cuatro en inglés, solo se le agrega la TH, ¿verdad? Bien, bien araganes. You know, la T y la H, y eso es todo. Ya se hizo cuarto. Right? So fourth. And then you continue the same with fifth. Right? Hold on. You go fifth, uh, six. Y así continúa, ¿verdad? Entonces la TH. The, the challenging part is when you have to write them down, okay? So uh, let's see, um, seventh, it's okay. Eighth, it's okay. But what about nine, all right? When you go to number nine, right? Yes, you write the TH, but you don't write it down like this, ¿verdad? Ahí está el truco, right? That's the catch, ¿verdad? That's the catch. You don't do it that way. No lo hacemos así. What you do is, le, le borra la E y le agrega la TH. And it's the same pronunciation, como que diga nine y luego zapato, right? Ninth. Okay? So that's what you do. <laughs> all right, and then when you get to, uh, to number 10, all right? Uh, hold on, let me make this a little bit smaller. To number 10, it's the same thing, right? Ahí no cambia nada, right? You said 10, like that. Now you continue with, with 11th, but what happens? You know, if I say 12, 12 is difficult, you know, trust me, you see, 12, right? 12, it's a difficult number to write, by the way. It's a diff, even, you know, for native speakers, it's difficult. So you go with number 12. And this is just memory, my friends. Hay un patrón, obviamente, ¿verdad? First, second, third, 
Tiene que recibir la S y la T. Es T and then and D for second and then third are D. And then del 4 hasta que no mencione los primeros tres números. All right. And so you just add the TH. Ahora le agrega la TH. Ya lo hace ordinal. Um, and here we go. Uh, so 12. It's easy if you write the number, ¿verdad? Facilísimo si usted solo escribe el número. Ah, pero vamos a escribir. ¿Cómo era? ¿Se fija? Como que fuera alemán. Vamos a saber qué palabra esa. Like it's German, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit difficult to write over there. So it has to be that way. Right? Right? Basically, 12 es este, right? 12. So what we do is, borramos la B y la E, sustituimos por una F, and then you add TH. Right? One more time, please. Ese es el 12, 12. You know, 12 is difficult to write, by the way, 12. Ya de por sí, el 12 es difícil de escribir. Difícil de escribir. Entonces, what we do is erase the last two letters, write an F and TH. That's the easy way to do it, right? Right? That's the easy way to do it and to remember how to spell it. Right? There you go. And then you continue 13, right? 14, and then etc. right? When you get to uh, 20, like this, and then it's almost the same, right? Igual como que va a escribir 20. Solamente que aquí en lugar de la Y, you erase it, le agrega la I latina, y aquí vienen los problemas, le agrega una E, la TH, right? No es invento mío, ¿verdad? It's part of the language over there. <laughs> All right, so you have to remember, you know how to do it. You, as you take a look over here, you see? All right, here it is, 20th, All right? 20th. Entonces, solamente para recapitular. Ya cuando usted ya, permítanme, I'm going to copy this, right? I'm going to make three categories over here. I think it's going to be better for you, right? So, um, I'm going to erase this. I'm going to keep it over here. All right? And I'm going to erase this. So let's classify this, right? The first three numbers are different. They do not compare to the rest. Then from fourth until, let's see, um, 19th, you just go with the TH, ¿verdad? Ahí usted solo le pone cuarto, you know, fourth, fifth, uh, y continúa, ¿verdad? Okay, like that. When you get to 20th, you know, when you count 10, you know, and 10, the 10 and 10, uh, ahí, igual lo mismo, ¿verdad? 30. Like this. Y es el mismo cambio, ¿verdad? Terry se escribe así, ¿verdad? 30. Y al final cambia la Y y latina, le agrega la E y la TH. And you're going to do the same with 40th. Y va a pronunciarlo 40th, 30th, 20th. All right? You go for... Uh, este es a little bit difficult, right? But you don't do it, I mean, like that. You see? 40th. In like, that way. And then you continue 50th, 60th, 70th, and then you go 90, right? Like that. So how, and like this, right? Like that. Okay. You continue. Si yo le pongo algo distinto acá, esto me lo va a marcar incorrecto. Because I have the, the, the language as English over here. You see? I'm not lying to you. Ahí me lo corrijo. Entonces, el 100, right? El centésimo, right? You go like this, TH, right? And it's basically the same thing, right? So, aquí es más fácil todavía, so it's easier, you know? One, no se complica, man, los estadounidenses. How would you think it is? Or first hundred? ¿Cómo creen que es? ¿Creen que le dicen ellos first hundred? All right? Or do you think it is 100? Yo tengo el idioma eh, configurado en inglés y no me marca ningún error. But which is the correct one, my friends? Option number one. Yeah, correct. It's, it's option number one. You, you think so? El primer 100, ¿verdad? Estoy diciendo ahí, ¿verdad? It makes yes. sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. But actually, no, we say actually 100, you know, uh, like the second auction order, right? 
And if you don't uh, believe me, go to Google and, and put it over there. Como puede ser también cuestión del idioma, ¿verdad? Quizás es aceptable de las dos formas. But I'm going to double check over here. No. Yo uso un diccionario en línea, ¿verdad? Que les he dado a un par de ustedes el tip. Y ya lo puse por ahí. No, y me dice que es el segundo. One hundredth con la TH. The, which is the correct one. Vamos a probar el otro. First hundred, no me lo reconoce. Okay, so it's the correct one is one hundredth. Just like that. That means that uh, like we here, Salvadorians, we are going to celebrate, así entre comillas, right? The independence, right? 200 years of independence, okay? This coming September. And uh, so, Bicentenario, right? So basically that's what you do, you know? Two hundred years, right? Just like that, okay. Do you have any questions, by the way? So pay attention to this one, right? Because it's difficult to, to spell. Pay attention to the other one, which is this one. And when you start counting, you know, vigésimos, you know, como la lotería. <laughs> All right, like the lottery, my friends. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. There you go. So you have to pay attention to that one. Okay. And this one over there. Do you have any questions, by the way, for me? No? Teacher. Yes. In miles? Millions. Lo, seguiría la misma regla. I would say so, right? Because you say one million. Yeah. Pero como we don't really count. Millares. Exactly, but we don't really count that one because we use it for, for dates. Para, para fechas los ocupamos así precisa, ¿verdad? For example, let me, let me give you a, a, an example over here. So, um, let's see, El Salvador's birthday, right? Let's use that one, you know, is uh, September is the 15th, all right? Of September. 18, uh-huh, 21. Let's see that this is a Salvador's birthday, right? Let's use that as an example. So this is like the very formal way to say it, but because I can also abbreviate it, right? It would be um, uh, 0, 09, 0, 01, and then 1821. Okay, this is in numbers, right? And uh, I don't really have to include that this is the first. O sea, in English, la gente ya lo entiende que first you write the month, then the uh, day, and the year, right? But, también lo puedo escribir, ¿verdad? September 15th, right? Right? 1821, just like that. So you use it for dates. So I don't think Miss Evelyn that uh, knowing how to say a million, it's, uh, you know, it's really necessary. And to be honest with you, I was, I don't know. Para ser sincero, no sé, ¿verdad? Como se diría un millón o en, en números ordinales. Okay. Como el decir, eh, decir, ah, milésima vez, mm -hmm. no sé. <laughs> Yeah, but no, but in that case, you, you say a thousand for the for the uh, a thousand times, you say for a thousand, right? For a thousand times, no, okay. Yeah, you say, yeah, I see your point. Yeah, in that case, yeah, it makes sense. Let's see, a thousand times, Correct. right? Like we say it in Spanish, but in Nesima vez, right? That's what, that's uh -huh. what, mm -hmm. yeah, that's okay. what, you mean. yeah, okay. Okay. there is no pay. Or people say it for a million time. Okay. Or for the millionth time. People say that. All right. Any other question that you may have for me? No? No question. So let me send this to you. All right. Um, this is just vocabulary, right? You don't really have to memorize this right now, but Let's do something over there, right? Uh, without using your uh, your 
let's see, year you were born, right? Write, uh, let's see, your birthday, okay? In the chat, if you want to share it with us, just the day and the month, right? Just to practice. Escribamos su, su cumpleaños solamente el, 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 el día y el mes, por favor, right? In the chat, in WhatsApp, please. So don't, don't do the, uh, the, uh, the year, right? Oh, um, Omitamos, ¿verdad? <laughs> El año. Okay, send it over there, present, try to, and try to say it, all right? I mean, try to say it, I mean, uh, in your mind, of course, all right? I share with you the ordinal numbers and rules over there, okay? So we should continue with the, with the class. Uh, just one second over here. Uh, let's see, let's see what's next. Oh, so I have a, uh, okay, so it's April the 24th. All right, nice. So Page 72, All right, so right now let's listen to a conversation about birthday plans. Listen and practice, all right? Listen and practice. Right now, uh, we, we start the future with going to, okay? And that's the topic, all right? So take a look at my screen, please, and then we take it from there. Miremos la, la mi pantalla, por favor, and then we start. So conversation, birthday plans. This is Angie and Philip talking about their birthday plans and see what happens over there. One, two, three. Here we go. Page 72, Exercise 2, Conversation, Birthday Plans. Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake, too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, she's going to try, but you don't know if it's going to work, ¿verdad? Lo voy a intentar, pero if it gets burned, si se le quema, all right? So that's why he doesn't promise anything. Okay. I don't know if you were able to notice, but they contract this structure. Contractan esto, ¿verdad? Lo que dice going to, right? They contract that part, right? They don't say, oh, well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. That's okay. If we say it that way, so there are two options over here, all right? To say the same expression over there. When you talk about your uh, birthday, you start with the month and then with the day. For example, uh, let's see who sent his uh, birthday over here miss evelyn yeah so you you texted so your birthday is on april 24th which is great and then the other one miss susanna is april 25th almost the same day <laughs> nice nah, almost the same day over there all right yeah don't tell me that you have the same age because it's gonna be a big coincidence right <laughs> all right you don't know right let's see we have july 20th uh, Miss Flor, and let, let's do that, please. Let's do that practice over there. Now that we have a lot of dates in, in there. Hagamos eso. Miremos uh, what's up in there, you know, the messages and try to practice, you know, the month and the date, you know, with your microphone, a, uh, let's see, off. And then I'll choose one or two of you to help me read the dates. Hagámoslo de forma individual, ¿verdad? Con el micrófono apagado. Practiquemos esa fecha de sus cumpleaños. Y luego voy a elegir a uno o dos de ustedes para que lo digan, ¿verdad? Enfrente, todo lo que está ahí. All right? Hold on. Eh, ya, ya regreso a la, um, a la pantalla anterior. Así que si nos comparten los que no han mandado todavía lo, lo de su, su cumpleaños sin el año, ¿verdad? Este, si lo pueden hacer, así nos van a ayudar a practicar, ¿verdad? Vamos a ocupar, ¿verdad? Sus, 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 sus cumpleaños. So, Let's continue with, with this conversation more others. Uh, so August 9th, and, and let's, let's scroll down. And the, you see all the time you have, I'm going to, right? 
I'm going to, are you going to, right? Uh, she's going to, is, is she going to, etc. So five times you have the same expressions over there. Now let's do this again, please. O sea, lo que le estoy diciendo que usted puede decir, I'm going to, you're going to, así completito, formal, ¿verdad? O puede decir, I'm gonna, he's gonna, right? Uh, she's gonna, right? Y luego va, va, va a decir el verbo. All right, so you have to be careful over there. And I'm going to explain it in a second. Ya lo vamos a explicar. So listen again, please. I'm going to mute your microphone. Escuchemos una vez más, por favor. All right, so one, two, uh, three. Page 72, exercise two, conversation. Birthday plans. Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. All right. All right, so my friends, now uh, I'm gonna try to uh, model this uh, conversation for you, not, not because I have the best pronunciation, but uh, at least get familiar with this, okay? So, are you gonna do anything exciting this weekend? Oh, usted puede decir, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? My best advice I can give you is, Apréndase cualquiera, ¿verdad? O si se puede aprender de las dos formas de pronunciar, eh, go ahead and do it. But if I were you, I would start with what you have over there, ¿verdad? No cambiémosle ni quitémosle nada a lo que está ahí, leamos textualmente. Después, si usted se quiere aprender la forma informal de, de decirlo, hágalo. Ok, so there's no problem. So, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th. Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> nice. So, uh, leámoslo textualmente. No vamos a hacerlo de la forma informal, but I'm going to explain it to you. You know how that works in, you know, during the, during the night, during the night, I will explain it to you. So let's continue and let's try to, uh, hold on. Let me just go back over here and share something else. Compartamos algo más. Okay, so take a look at uh, your PDF, the one that I shared with you in WhatsApp. Revisemos el, el, el material de consulta que les compartí como a las ocho y dos minutos. Eh, vamos a ocuparlo en este momento. All right. Ahí está el documento de seis páginas. But before we continue, before we continue, um, you're going to help me, all right? You're going to help me with um, the, the uh, birthday that you have in, in WhatsApp. Todos, por favor, eh, si gusta, abramos el WhatsApp y revisemos la fecha de cumpleaños. And can I have a volunteer, please, that can help me read uh, most of the, the birthday in there, at least... Let's see the first five, all right? Again, somebody would like to help me, please? Starting with April 24th. Estamos leyendo, estoy leyendo lo, lo del WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's what I have. All right, so I'm going to share the screen over here, right? So you can do it from my screen, right? There you go. This is, let's see, uh, the list that I have. So can, could I please have a volunteer that can help me read the bird dates that you shared in the chat, All right? Si alguien me ayuda a leer los, los, todos los que están acá, por favor. April 24. Right, so April or April, sorry. 
April 24th. Yeah, we, we have to say actually April. Con una o. April. April. 24th. Con, con una o, Mr. Mr. Raul. Con una o. April. 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 Yes, sir. Correct. 24th. Okay. April 25. 25th. 25th. Uh -huh. 25th. Okay. July 20th. Uh -huh. August, ahí le faltó algo ahí, vea. Una U, era la U en lugar de O. Okay. August. August 9th. 9th, all right. August 5th. 5th. August 5th. 5th, yes. Ah, eh, eh, ese es el mejor, va, el día de la paz. <laughs> yeah, Chapultepec. <laughs> yes. <laughs> January. 16th January 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 16th. 16th okay and then the next one February 15th ahí vamos a decir no. February así como enojado February February, uh -huh. February 15th 15th okay February 15th okay February 15th and the last one is oh my god patriotic In Independence Day very patriotic right Independence nice. Day <laughs> Yeah, September. Uh, September 15th. September 15th. Thank you, sir. All right. So we we say April, we say August. O sea, no por ustedes, sino que solo, solo en, recapitulando. And February. April. February is difficult to say, by the way. All right. It's difficult to say. Hold on. The last one was until September, the patriotic day. And the other ones I'm about to share with you aren't. Let's see. Ah, that is Miss Miss Sarai. You know, she's a patriotic one, right? I can see that. So let me share the other half of the dates. And can I have another volunteer, please? All right. Hold on. I'm gonna share the screen over here for you. And all right, yes. Okay. So who says me? Can this you? Somebody else, by the way. Quien se anima a pronunciarlo, por favor. All right, go ahead, please, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. October 24th, mm -hmm. Gilberto Mendoza. Mm -hmm. um, March, fine. January, 22, um, Fran Rodriguez. Okay. In January, um, 28th. Okay. April, Eight. Mm -hmm. January 11th. All right. Thank so, you. So, so remember that we say uh, el quinto decimos fifth, everyone. Fifth. fifth. So March. So, the, yeah, that's okay. So we say more. That's okay. Don't worry about it. So um, one more time. So we say. Hold on, please over here. Hold on. All right, so remember, we say uh, quinto, we say fifth, all right? Y segundo, ya sea que sea el, el décimo segundo, bueno, ahí no aplica, ¿verdad? Con el, con el, do, do, con el doceavo no aplica, sino que aplica de el, el segundo, luego el veintidós, o el, o el vigésimo segundo, trigésimo segundo, y así. Eh, entonces usted va a decir second, you know, January 22nd. All right. Si tiene la N y la D, vamos a decir second. All right. April, please. Y, y abril no vamos a decir April. No, 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 no. Vamos a decir April. Como cuando usted dice lápiz, no dice pencil. Dice pencil. Prácticamente la que está pronunciando es la L. La I desaparece. All right. So remember that, please. All right. Remember that. Okay. 
Now let's move forward over here with the explanation and I'm going to be using this. So one moment, please. So the grammar focus in there. So you have a question over here um, using you and then you have, hold on, let me make this bigger. So you have a question. Are you going to do anything this weekend? ¿Va a hacer o va usted a hacer algo este fin de semana? Right? That's the first question, my brother. The second question is, is Kyla going to cook dinner for you? Va a cocinar, le va a hacer cena, verdad, ella? A usted. So are your friends going to be there? Right? So amigos van a asistir in there. So when you ask a question, you should be going to, and something that you need to remember is that the structure, toda, toda la estructura es be going to. La estructura es el verbo to be con esta expresión going, going into. O sea, esto va a ir siempre junto. Lo que usted va a conjugar es el verbo to be dependiendo del sujeto. Okay, so that's the golden rule about this. For example, if you use you, uh, they, we, and, and, and for example, over there, so you have to use are, ¿verdad? Como cuando usted dice, ¿verdad? Are you happy? Right? Uh, are you tired? Are you sleepy? Lo mismo, como que va a ser una pregunta así, ¿verdad? Simple. Ok. Pero en este caso, la estructura es going to. Todo esto junto, eh, ¿verdad? Going to. Right? Se traduciría como vas a. Ok. Vas a. Así se traduciría. O va a. O van a. Así se traduciría esto. Going to. Talking about the future. So the question is, are you going to do anything this weekend? Oh. Ella, ¿verdad? Is she going to cook dinner for you? Porque es ella, ¿verdad? Kayla, that's why we use is, all right? And uh, the next one, are your friends going to be there? Plural, ¿verdad? De ellos. So are they going to be there? Por eso que está en negrita que toda esta estructura no le va a cambiar. El going to va a ir seguido del verbo. Right? Es un verbo infinitivo, pero el to, que es una preposición, le va a dar la pauta para escribir el verbo tal cual es. Right? So, are you going to do anything? Is Kyla going to cook? Are your friends going to be? Yo les pregunto, are you going to be in class tomorrow? Are you, my friends, going to be in class tomorrow? You will say, no, you know, I have to finish something at my work. ¿verdad? No, 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 ya lo tiene usted estipulado, dicho plan, arrange, okay? Entonces, eh, and then the answers are, are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. Como que le están preguntando, ¿verdad? Una de sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿usted se baña? Sí, ¿verdad? Pero no, it, it, it doesn't mean that way. No significa en este contexto yo sí, ¿verdad? O yo soy, o yo estoy. No, significa yo voy, right? Okay? Yes, I am. Pero pregunta corta. Pero en la realidad, usted nunca va a decir eso. Solamente va a decir yes. Or, or no, o solamente ignora la pregunta, or you just move your head, right? You're not your head, right? That's what you do <laughs> in real life. Okay, so if I ask you, are you going to do anything this weekend? You can say, yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Or you can say, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Se fija está contractado. Usted decide contractar la respuesta, ¿verdad? Going to over there. Hold on. And Kayla or Kayla. Kayla, uh, going to cook dinner for you? Yes, she is. Si lo va a hacer, right? She's going to cook a special dinner. Or no, she's not. She's going to order takeout. Pues va a pedir comida, right? In delivery. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are, right? Are, are they gonna be there, verdad? Van a asistir, claro que sí. They're going to stop by after dinner, verdad? ¿verdad? Van a llegar un rato, stop by significa llegar un rato. Stop by after dinner, como detenerse, verdad? No, they, they are not. They're going to be away all weekend, verdad? Claro que no. But just to give you more ideas out of this one, let me share the screen over here. Vamos a compartir pantalla. You know, of the presentation model, which is the one we use. So one second in here. I'm going to stop a little bit on this one, right? The, in the grammar in there. All right. So here we go. So take a look at my screen. The structure is be going to. 
Right. All of that is structure. Esto le va a ser el futuro a usted. The only difference is that B, you need to conjugate it either as am, is, right, and, or are. Just like that, right? So, for example, if you say it, um, I'm going to, in negative, right? I'm not, no va a manejar mañana. Usted va a decir, I'm not going to drive tomorrow. ¿Verdad? Usted ya lo presupuesto, right? So, tomorrow I'm not driving, you say, right? So we use the, the be going to for plans or arrangements, right? Okay. But something that you know that's going to happen, right? For future plans, right? I would say future plans, right? For future for plans or arrangements. Okay, so I'm not going to drive tomorrow. Or you can also say, I'm going to drive tomorrow, okay? Because you, you have that in mind already. So you see what's the structure over here? See, rapidamente, you have the subject, right? Plus going to. Eso tiene que quedar un poquito claro, ¿verdad? Entonces, permítanme, I'm going to do this, right? You have the subject plus... Right, aquí me estaba saltando el verbo to be, pero ya sea como, eh, sorry, is, be, right, is, are, or am, pongámoslo al revés así, right, okay, and then going to plus a verb, and over here plus complement, that's what you do, right? So you have going to, no, I'll put it in negrita, right? And this one should always be there. O sea, usted no puede escribir el complemento, ¿verdad? Right? Pero al final va a tener sentido. Pero el verbo acá, the verb and its base, base, base form, right? You don't have to add an ing or anything like that. Entonces, si usted transforma esto, you see the subject is I, I The verb is am, right? Aquí porque lo puse en negativo, right? But then you have going to, which is this one. And then you have the verb is drive, which is, you know, this one. And then the complement, which is tomorrow. So that's the structure over there. And when you make a question in there, right? When you make a question, uh, you, you have vuelta la tortilla, right? Si es directo, ¿verdad? Are you going to... Va a manejar mañana, right? Tomorrow. And then the question mark. Okay. Eh, no sé, su, su hijo va a trabajar mañana. Is your son, right? Going to work, right? And then, no le pongo complemento, right? Just like that. And we continue that way. So we use be going to for future plans and be careful to use, you know, the subject plus be conjugated plus going to plus, um, plus the verb plus complement. You know, that's the rule. And for question you go, uh, first of all, you, you have to use, right? In this case is be plus the subject, right? Plus, Complement. Sorry, plus um, B. Sorry, plus going to plus a verb plus a complement and the question mark, of course, right? There you go. Entonces, si nos confunde lo que estamos explicando, solamente se cierre que lleve el going to like that. The, the verb never changes, que el verbo nunca le cambia y que tiene que ocupar el verbo to be después del sujeto. Those are the golden rules over there. So use be, lo que le puse en negrita, going to, and then the verb which never changes. All right? Never changes over there. So the verb in there is base form. Is there any questions for me right now? No? No questions over there. So there's going to be time for us to practice. Ya va a haber tiempo de practicar. 
Uh, I'm going to send this to you, the golden rule, do you know? Tiene que ir el be going to, always please, be going to. And um, let me stop sharing this screen. Let's go back to the PDF, regresemos al PDF. And uh, that's the one I have, all right? So now there will be two activities that you, my friends, are going to complete right now. So the first one, the first one will be the following. Hold on, please. Necesito hacer más pequeño esto. Just one second over here. Permítame. So let's try to do this, my friends. All right, let's try to do this. Um, bueno, de hecho, tres cosas vamos a hacer. All right. Um, sorry. Number one, in the breaker room, practice the birth dates that you share in WhatsApp. Vamos a practicar los cumpleaños que compartieron en el grupo de WhatsApp. Okay. That's the first thing that you're going to do. And take terms. That's the first thing, ¿verdad? Los cumpleaños que están ahí. Number two, practice this conversation, right? Like very quickly. And last but not least, you will try to, right, guess, you know, what these people are going to do this weekend. You don't have to write sentences if you don't want to, but you just speak over here. Over here. No tiene que escribir, de hecho. Si gusta, lo escribo, si no, de una sola vez. I'm sorry, you describe what you have over here. Describe lo que está viendo, right? So uh, what you see in there. En presente, continuo sería, he's reading, you know, he's, he's dancing, she's, or he's swimming, she's running or doing exercise, they're playing tennis, you know. Uh, you have to make this bigger, right? Que es la pantalla un poquito más grandecita, right? Like this. And then you see what, what happens in there. So this one, She's shopping, jewelry, jewelry. They're watching a movie and then he's taking a phone call. Pero esto es lo que yo les, di, les dije, ¿verdad? En presente continuo o progresivo, lo va a hacer en futuro. You're seeing be going to, right? Okay. So the birth dates, you will practice three things, ¿verdad? First, birth dates. Second, conversation. And third, the uh, pictures. In, in future, right? You've seen be going to, okay? And then you have the document with you already. Ya tenemos el documento PDF para que lo podamos hacer. And, and where, where can you find that one? I think it's on the second page. If I'm not mistaken, it's like the second page over there. All right. So I'm sending you to the breaker rooms uh, right now. All right? Right now. So one second here.
Hello, Miss Carmen. I sent you to a room already, room number one. Yes, teacher, I'm sorry. I went to wash my hands right okay. now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are you able to enter or, or not? No. Of course, I can send you back, all right? Let's see if I can send you back. Okay. No se escucha, Carmen. Okay, the first activity is say the, the, the dates, right? Correct, the birthday, okay. yes. Birthdays. The birthday. Can I start? Yes? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Please. When and your birthday, Carmen? My birthday is on January 28th. All right, so on January, on January 28th, because it's, uh, it's a on date. January. If you only say the, the month, we say in January. But if you say the month and, then and the coming. day, you have to say on, right? On. on. Yes. yes. Is okay. my, my birthday is on January 28th. Tw okay. Nice. Frank? Mine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Both, right? Both are Frank. <laughs> Frank, January yeah. 22. 22nd, no, right? 22nd. Second. Correct. 22nd. Second. Second. Yes, correct. And my birthday, too, on January 16th. January 16th. All right. Los tres tres son, cornis. 16th. Son, los tres 16th. somos de enero. Y el teacher. 16th. Mine was yesterday, by the way. My birthday was yesterday. Ah. Yes, yeah, sir. Really? Really? Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, teacher. <laughs> yeah, Happy May the 4th. It's, it was on May the 4th, right? Que bien hubo, hubo de pelo, entonces. Uh, no, not really. No. No. Que bien, no entonces. Que excelente. <laughs> Nada más. Un brazo gitano completo. No, no, no con Mr. Francisco. Él, es que el otro Francisco, usted, Mr. Francisco, fue el que se desveló por mí. <laughs> yeah, see. Nice. So let's let's uh, let's do the uh, the ones on 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 WhatsApp, please. Just some of them, right? Not all of them, please. Okay. Like you can choose uh, Susana Sportillo. She's it's on April twenty fifth. Uh, Susana Hernandez, August the fifth. Elijamos ahí uno más o menos difícil, right? Some difficult, so whatever, please. <laughs> Okay, Evelyn Caballero is on April 24th. 15 October 24th. Ivan mm -hmm. March 5th. Mm -hmm. Rodríguez. January, uh, January 20, 22nd, right? Yeah, January 22nd, correct. Uh, Carmen, January 58th. Uh, April 8th. Uh, Jan January, January. Me cuesta pronunciar eso. That's okay. January. January 11th. Hasta ahí. Yeah. If you practice already the uh, dates, uh, practice the conversation, please. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Dale. <laughs> bueno, repito. Well, I'm going Achim. to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Siga. ¿Cómo se llama, eh, eh, Gilberto? Oh, happy birthday. When is it? Exactly. It's August night, Sunday. So what are your plans? I am going to go to my friend's Kyle, Kyla's house. She is going to cook a, a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake too?
24 March. Uh, January. Ya dijeron que no van a renunciar. 22nd. Ah, yes. 22nd, yes. Uh -huh. uh, January 28th. No. April 28th. Um, ahí nomás. Sí. April January. Uh, January 11. Uh -huh. It's correct. Eh, Susan. Yes, tú. Ya estuvo. Ya estuvo. Fui la primera. <laughs> eh, teacher. Yes. La conversación. Continue, please, teacher. Ya nos está espiando. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> No, let's continue with the uh, conversation, please. Okay. Oh, the right. conversation. Yeah, the conversation now, please. Thank you. Es era el PDF, ¿verdad? Yes, correct, sir. Okay. And so... that one is on page, uh, page number two is, is the one. No, no, page number one. Right. Vamos a ver qué le dice, qué le dice. Yes, it's page number one below the dates. Está abajo mm -hmm. de las fechas. Okay, so, ahorita reviso. Eh, eso es, perdón, no escuché, ese era el, el, el del manual. Mm, o el, no. el, el, el anterior. Es el, el único que les he compartido esta noche, un documento, es el único ah, que les he compartido esta noche. Es que yo los he puesto todos en una sola carpeta. Oh, okay, okay. No estoy, pero a ver qué va. Ahí está, vamos a, aquí, mira, vamos a poner. Ah, ya lo vi. Be, uh, Bitcoin 2, Pictures. Right. Yes. Right. For the future. Vamos a ponerlo aquí para que esté más visible. There you go. Hoy sí. Ok. Sería... That one. This is? Yes. So, Angie and Philip. All right. Ok. Teacher, pero nos va a hacer falta uno. No, but it's only two. It's a conversation between two. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. it's, you take turns. So maybe you can start uh, Miss Susana with Miss Evelyn and then the Mr. Alfonso with uh, either one. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Así como dijo él, ¿verdad? De que, uh, por ejemplo, I gonna to, I gonna go to. I gonna. I gonna. I gonna, I gonna to celebrate. Ajá, Teacher, gonna... we we finish repast birthday and and conversations too. All right, so let me send the message over here. So you you do the other exercise, do the uh, exercise about the images, please. Thanks. Hold on. But, but over here, I'm going to take uh, the opportunity to help you on something over here. All right. Le voy, le voy a echar la mano en algo por acá, que me fije. Okay? okay. So listen up, please. So um, say it as, as, as you see it in there. But digámoslo como usted lo mira acá, ¿verdad? Are you going to do anything exciting? Any, are you going to? Ok, utilizando el tú. Si usted lo dice de forma informal, tiene que quitar el tú. ¿Verdad? Y va a decir, are, are you gonna do? All right. Si dice gonna, le va a quitar el tú, porque esa es la contracción. Está contractando el going con el tú. All right. De hecho, en el PDF, en the next page, I think you have the, the explanation over there. Pero no vayamos a decir, como dice Philip, ¿verdad? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to celebrate. No, va a decir, I'm gonna celebrate. Entonces, uh, so that's what you do. With her. So let me share the screen here. Hold on. Uh, here. All right. Aquí está, mira. Aquí no está escrito, pero sí se lo dice como lo tiene que decir. Dice, listen and practice. Notice that reduction of going to, y queda aquí como gonna. But uh, when you write it down, cuando usted lo escribe, lo puede escribir de la siguiente forma. ¿verdad? Vamos, a, vamos a ocupar estos mismos ejemplos de acá. Let's use these examples over here. So you, you can say, you can use a contraction over here if you want to, right? Like this. Drive. 
tomorrow. Just like that. You know, for the system, it's a mistake, right? But I'm gonna use the uh, informal way. So that's what you do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try tomorrow. Um, and you don't say I am, you say um, um, all right, um, I'm gonna drive tomorrow or I'm not gonna drive tomorrow, I'm not gonna drive. So you erase two in there, right? I'm gonna drive, just like that, all right? So are you going to drive tomorrow? You can say, all right, are you gonna drive tomorrow? And then you do it that way. Are you going to try? What happens is that, that when you speak, you say it that way. But when you write it down, you write it down correctly like this. Consejo es que dígalo como usted quiera, pero escríbalo como going to, porque es bien informal decir gonna. All right? Escribir gonna. All right? Now you can continue with the next part, which is, uh, what is it here? All right? This one. So you're going to, uh, let's see, use this, these images to talk about the this, these people's plans right like he's going to uh, go to a party he's going to dance right he's going to uh, celebrate his birthday for example right one example for each image please all right thank you lo puse en mudo perdone so i cannot hear you all right sorry about that Okay, teacher. All right. Are your friends going to be there? Yes, they are. They're going to stop by after dinner. No, they they are not. They're going to be away all weekend. Away all weekend. Away all weekend. Yeah, what are you doing right now, Mr. Uh, Melendez? Pues como se, ya habíamos hecho todo lo demás, nos pusimos a practicar <laughs> otra cosa. Right. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, so, so, so you're doing the other conversation, yeah. there, right? Yes. <laughs> es que we are the A team. <laughs> you're the, you're the A plus team, right? Yeah, you're the talented kids. Nice. So, so could you I tell me... Murdoch. <laughs> yes. So can you tell me, let's see, Mr. Melendez, uh, let's see, yes. one, two, and three, please, out of these images. Two, three. Please. Um, espérame, que me perdí. Ah, one, two, and three. Ah, okay, ya ve. Vamos a ver. Eh, they ya are llegué. dancing. Ah, muy bien. Hello. Sunny Salvo. They are going yeah. to dance. Uh -oh. Sunny Salvo, okay. Uh, Cloud is back now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> At least it did the. Okay. Yes, All right, so listen up over here. So, Mr. Melendez, the first one. You're speaking like a robot now, sir. Stay in modo robot, you know, robot mode. <laughs> 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 but that's okay, sir. Could you try now? Es que la conexión, hombre. Turn off the camera. That's okay. Turn off the camera. Okay. Don't worry about it. Eh, vamos a ver. Dijo un ciego y no pudo. Mm -hmm. Number one. They're going to go to dancing. Okay. They're going to go, no, to He's read a book. He's going to? He's going to read a book. Correct. He's going to swim. All right, thank you, Mr. Francisco. Continue, please, with four, uh, five, and six, please. Mm -hmm. She's going to run. Or, uh, Next or, Sunday. Uh huh. Five. They're 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 going to play tennis. Correct, uh, and I don't know who's gonna win, right? So we don't know. And uh, number six. Uh -huh. and She's going to yet. buy some jewels. <laughs> she wants to steal the the uh, the necklace, right? Right. But she's going uh -huh. to buy it, we say. Or she's going to go window shopping, maybe. We don't know, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice, Miss Miss Mrs. Yeah. Uh, Oriana, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. Yes, correct. Seven and eight, but in this case, could you could you give me two examples for each image? Uh, 
Right. Okay, they are going to watch a movie. Mm -hmm. they, they are not going to watch a movie. They're, they're not going to watch TV, right? We can say that too, right? So, All right. Um, he is going to call by phone. Mm -hmm. He's not going to call by phone. Yeah, you can also say he's going to make a phone call. He's going to make a or phone make call. Or make a phone call make a phone or call. get a call. Or get a call, correct. Or you can also say he's going to make a reservation, right? Or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is just uh, creativity. <laughs> All right. Hello, Claudia. Bueno, espero que le haya ido bien. So. Estoy cansada, pero bien. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Estaba trabajando y conectado y todo yeah. así como <laughs> like, multi, just, like what are you doing right <laughs> <¿Qué está haciendo? laughs> that's okay so we, let's stop this uh i mean the, the room and let's go back to the main station please all right okay thank you Okay, so welcome back everyone. So um, let's do something over here. So before we continue with the class, I need to explain this to you, all right? And I'm gonna use this thing to help you out, okay? And uh, here we go. So right now I'm going to explain to you the difference between the formal, all right? versus informal future with right with be going to right be going to and simply uh is the way you say it and the way you write it down so when you speak right so when you speak you have to say it that way if you want to right it's not mandatory but when you write it down when you write uh, this structure down, you should use it like this, right? Going to without contraction, because it's informal to write it down that way. But it depends who you are speaking to. Entonces lo que le digo es, cuando usted hable lo puede decir de forma contractada, puede decir gonna, pero cuando lo escribe escríbelo de forma completa. Es lo es lo correcto que que uno debería de hacer. De hecho, en inglés hay esta contracción, ¿verdad? Que después se las explico ahorita, ¿no? Right, but uh, you might have seen this in the in Sons, right? Somehow. What is this thing? Uh, it is Ein. No, it's like this. That contraction model, eso no tiene nada que ver lo que les estoy explicando, ¿verdad? But you have seen this before. And this one is a contraction for this, my friends, for that. All right, but uh, this can be used in any type of country, you know, you know, ain't, ain't, you know, that ain't my problem, you know, you ain't doing this. O sea, los, en Estados Unidos, so people in the States, they speak that way. But right now we're learning good English. There will come the time in which you're gonna learn this and speak that way. But ahorita, let's, let's forget about this. All right, let's forget about that. So I'm gonna drive tomorrow, right? When you speak, when you write it down, usted lo va a decir, you know, in writing, the forma escrita, verdad? In writing, you're gonna say it. I'm sorry, you're gonna write it down, valga la redundancia, I'm going to drive tomorrow, verdad? Todo completito. Y para que la estructura sea completa, golden rule, regla de oro. These three, these three elements need to be there. Para que sea completa, los tres elementos tienen que estar. Verbo to be y la estructura de going to. Y luego lo demás ya es el verbo y el complemento, which you know already. Now, just be careful. Esto no se debe hacer, ¿ok? O sea, aquí yo decido si contrato el verbo to be o no, ¿verdad? Es just cuestión suya. Um, y si usted lo contrata, no va a decir I am. ¿Verdad? Or I am, or I'm, va a decir am, como que fuera la letra M, am. I'm going to drive, 
tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna drive tomorrow. Entonces aquí vamos a poner, I'm gonna. Si usted le pone el to, that's incorrect, right? Porque la contracción de going to es el gonna, right? O sea, lo que estamos contractando es el going to, ¿verdad? Sí se contracta, All right? Gonna, going to is gonna. And after that one, this one doesn't exist, right? El to lo borramos. I'm going to drive tomorrow. I'm going to drive tomorrow, all right? Just to let you know, okay. So, and going back to the uh, conversation that we have over here, now, let's try to say it in an informal way. Si usted se acostumbra a decirlo de forma de sea informal o, o más corta, no hay problema. But if you say, let's say, in a long and complete way, that's also okay. So you can say, are you going to do anything this uh, exciting this weekend? Or are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. And then you continue. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my friend's Kayla's house. Entonces, si usted lo contracta y dice gonna, se va a meter en problemas si usted le está metiendo el to, ¿verdad? Aquí va a decir, I'm, go, I'm gonna go to, el verbo principal es go, y el to es contractado, ¿verdad? I'm gonna go to my friend's Kayla's house. She's gonna cook a special dinner. Is she gonna bake a cake too? Entonces, si usted piensa que se va a confundir o, o se puede confundir, léalo tal cual es. And nothing happens, all right? So, no problem. You don't have to contract this. Any questions about this so far, my friends? No? No questions for me? No questions? All right, so let me share this contractive form with you. And then we will continue practicing over here, all right? Let's continue practicing over here. Antes que, que, quiero ver, que estamos aquí completos prácticamente, pasemos a español un poquito. Este día recibieron ustedes eh, confirmación de la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Que se completa el último día, por correo y por WhatsApp, según me contaron en la reunión en coordinación. El próximo martes es el último día de clases, entonces vamos a esperar hasta el próximo martes, como ustedes ya saben para completar la encuesta de satisfacción en clase. Se nos va a asignar un tiempo específico en clase, como 20 minutos, desde el, de las 8 a las 10, un lapso de 20 minutos para hacer la, la encuesta y ustedes la compartan al chat. Para que no se adelante, ¿verdad? entonces tenemos un par de días todavía. Eh, y usted dice, no, nah, ni, ni, ni he visto eso, ni chance me ha quedado. <risa> I understand, ¿verdad? Pero es mi obligación mencionarse. Excuse me. Quizás cuando usted dijo eso, bueno, tengo días de estarlo escuchando, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer el día quizás que usted lo dijo? No Ajá. me conecté a la clase. La encuesta lo vamos, más o menos? La encuesta lo vamos Ajá, a hacer sí. el, el último día. Y yo tengo el enlace y yo se los puedo mandar el enlace para que usted haga la encuesta. Yo le presento los datos y ahí lo vamos haciendo. Entonces, para que no se vaya a equivocar. Ajá, Ajá y pues, con la tarea que vamos a hacer el último día, no dijo nada de eso. Una recopilación de lo que hemos visto, ¿no? Sí, pero acuérdense que la encuesta solo nos lleva 15 minutos y si lo hacemos rápido, 5 minutos. Entonces. Ah, y la recopilación ajá. de lo que hemos visto, eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. No, esa es la clase que yo les voy a dar. Usted, eh, bueno, como estudiantes, solo se va a preocupar hacer la plataforma, que es la obligación. Y el del 80% que ya saben de estar en clase y la encuesta de satisfacción que es el tercer elemento para que usted le aprueben estar sí, en el otro me preocupa módulo. porque no me he podido conectar ya hablé fíjese y me dijeron que van a revisar pero voy a seguir insistiendo fíjese porque eh, no me han dado solución verdad hoy pregunté y me dijeron le vamos a dar continuidad porque tuvimos reunión a las cinco y media de hecho este, okay, per gracias. perdón va a disculpar perdón sí dígame cuando se cierra la plataforma 10 o 11. El 10 aparece ahí, fíjese. Este, y yo mejor le aconsejo que la haga el 10, porque al parecer, eh, o es error de ellos, voy a preguntar ahorita, fíjese, de hecho, a ver si me contesta. Igual, ¿verdad? Espero que me conteste. No ahorita, pero yo les paso el dato. Um, en la plataforma dice que el 10, ¿verdad? En el WhatsApp que nos enviaron para la encuesta. Para la evaluación dice que es el 11 que se va a hacer la, la, la evaluación. 
pero no, decía, no dijeron nada de la fecha de cierre de la plataforma. Bueno, ahorita estoy preguntando. Buenas noches. Hola, eh, en yes. mi caso no me ha llegado el, 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 ese chat. De, ¿Es el de la encuesta. Ajá, será que lo están enviando... No, hoy lo enviaron, me dijeron, ¿verdad? Pero, bueno, podría revisar primero en los no deseados y si no está ahí. En el correo. En el correo normal, en su inbox. Al, al WhatsApp, al lo, WhatsApp lo enviaron. Lo enviaron al WhatsApp también y prácticamente es, es eh, la misma información para todos, ¿verdad? Entonces. Eh, sí, no, no lo tengo. Uh -huh. bueno. Sí, en, en ese okay. caso po podemos ocupar la información que está en el grupo de WhatsApp, que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Lo que necesitamos solo es el enlace y los datos que están ahí. Entonces, pero yo se los voy a compartir el próximo martes. Entonces, bueno, ya pregunté sobre okay. la plataforma, a ver si me contesta alguien está, está escribiendo por ahí. Ahí está. Ojalá que me contesten, tenemos un par de minutos por ahí. Eh, bueno, eso era una cosa. Lo siguiente es el 101. Todavía tenemos un, one, un par de 101 pendientes, pero en lo que yo les mostraba me faltaba un día, pero no es ya me contestaron. Dice la coordinadora, los participantes tienen hasta el 11 de mayo para terminar la plataforma. Usted, ella es lo, para mí lo siguiente. Until the 11, Mr. Luis. Ok. Yes, sir. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. Son eficientes, mire. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Excellent. at least Excellent. for that, ¿verdad? Porque nos están quedando mal algunas cosas por ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, de hecho, ahorita voy, voy, a, voy a notificar otra vez lo de Elizabeth, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, pero les voy a mostrar esta pantalla. Permítanme. Um, para no quitarles tiempo. Ahí está. Poco, se va a mirar un poco desordenado, ¿verdad? Los, los nombres y por ahí, pero igual es el cuadro que tenemos. So today it is, uh, let's see. Quiere decir que el Tuesday, I don't have anybody assigning here, right? Yo creía que había sido error mío, pero no me pusieron aquí a alguien. All right. Bueno, va a estar abierto quien se quiera quedar el último día porque eh, hoy es the fifth of May. Mi Susana Hernández, according to this, right? And then tomorrow is Mi Susana Portillo, Tocaya, and then on Friday is. Uh, Miss Ulma González. Entonces, next Tuesday, I don't have anybody. Yo creí que en realidad yo me había equivocado, que no había copiado bien esto, pero no, no me han puesto el día eh, martes, ¿verdad? Que es el último día. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna ask over there. All right. Nice. So, uh, this evening is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Miss Susana Hernández. All right. If you, if you can't stay. I pass. Um, you Monday? pass already, right? No, Monday. Yes. Yeah, you pass on Monday already. So we're going to go ahead with Miss Portillo. Tomorrow, teacher. Okay, for tomorrow. Weather. Entonces está abierto por si alguien quiere, eh, como decimos, reengancharse. <laughs> you just let me know, please. We still have five more minutes over here. All right. So let's continue with, with the rest of the class. All right. Because it's almost time for us to, to say goodbye. Um, yes, one of my favorite parts, listening, my friends, listening activities over there. Y aquí, aunque usted tenga el PDF, ¿verdad? <laughs> Tiene que esperarme para que, le, para que le ponga el audio por ahí, ¿verdad? So that's, that's the, the idea over here. So let's try to listen to this. All right, hold on. I'm going to share the right screen. Vamos a compartir la, la pantalla correcta. And then we take it further. So, listening, evening plans, all right? Hold on. It's 5.30 p.m. What are these people's evening plans? Write your guesses in the chart. So, take a look at the, their outfits, all right? So, they, they're wearing hats, ties, They have some uh, grocery shopping in there, and there this uh, gentleman who's going to interview them. I will say you have Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jackie. Different, you know, facial expressions over there as well. 
usted va a anticiparse, ¿verdad? Y va a hacer el cuadrito de abajo. Lo va a dividir en dos columnas. You know, do two columns. Your guess, right? Digamos, eh, lo que usted espera que pase, ¿verdad? Your guess. Eh, una palabra en español un poquito más precisa para decir que sea un guess. Es como que usted está adivinando. Adivinar. Como adivinar, ¿verdad? Pero aquí es su posición. ¿Ok? Deducir. Un, una suposición, ¿verdad? Usted deduce lo que va a pasar. ¿Verdad? Como que predice, ¿verdad? Lo que va a pasar. Something like that. So, and then you have the people in there. Eh, so, Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jackie. So, maybe your guess is she's going to go to the gym because she's wearing a, a sweater, right? Uh, and, and pants. Kevin, uh, maybe he's going to use uh, his cell phone. He's going to listen to music, right? He's going to listen to music. And Mr. Robert, he's going to work or he is going to go to uh, his house. We don't know, right? And uh, the last one, Jackie, she's going to do the grocery shopping or, or she's going to go to the supermarket. So those are my guesses, but that's me, right? What about you? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? Or what do you think? You let me know in a second, right? And then in the second uh, column, you have what actually happened, right? Listen to the interview, escuchemos a la... La entrevista, what are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. ¿Qué van a hacer ellos en realidad? Ok. Y we start in one minute. I'm going to give you one minute. En un minuto comenzamos con lo de listening para ver qué es lo que van a hacer en realidad. Usted complete la parte A, ¿verdad? De, de lo que usted piensa, ¿verdad? Ok. Please. And it's almost time to say goodbye. You know, two more minutes and you're going to be free. All right. All right. So can I play the listening right now? Should we start? Comenzamos. Should we start? Yes. Or not yet. Todavía no. Entonces hagamos dos columnas, ¿verdad? Para que no nos confundamos. But, but just write the names over there. So Michelle, Kevin, Robert, and Jackie. Now I will play this because it's almost time to say goodbye. And uh, tomorrow we will... Uh, listen to this again and, and, and to complete uh, the information more. But now let's listen up first. Go ahead. Page 74, exercise five, listening. Evening plans, part B. Listen to the interview. What are the people really going to do? Complete the chart. No se escucha fuerte. No se escucha. Let me play it again. All right. Hold on. Bueno, tiene 100% mi computadora y se ha estado compartiendo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver ahora. Bueno, vamos a escuchar. Me avisan, por favor. Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? Michelle. I think you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to my friend's house. He has some new video games. Oh, I see. So you're going to play video games this evening? Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Sure. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party. 
but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jackie. Do you have any plans for this evening? It's my sister's birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to bake a cake tonight. That's nice of you. Are you going to give her a party? Not really, but she's going to come over for dinner tomorrow night. Okay, so those are the examples over there. This is just a sample, solamente es una muestra. It's 10 p.m. already. I have to tell you goodbye because, uh, I mean, it's 10 o'clock already. So who would like to stay on the 101? All right, ¿quién se anima? Porque a mí me toca quedarme 10 minutos, ¿verdad? 15 minutos. Entonces, yo siempre el tiempo lo tengo que cumplir. So, Flor, all right, thank you so much. So, hope to, hope to see you tomorrow, everyone. All right? Thursday. Have a great night. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, sir. See you tomorrow, everyone. See you tomorrow, sir. Permítame un momento aquí, vamos a sacar. Pero ni para salirse son, andan en la jugada alguna gente. ¿no? Siempre están ahí en pantalla <ríe> negra. No se ha fijado. <ríe> Vea, pero ahí, ¿verdad? No names, sin mencionar nombres. <ríe> ¿Sí? Sí. <ríe> ¿Qué tal, pues? Por aquí, Ticho. Queriendo preguntarle. Vale, dígame. Este, es que una, en un ejercicio de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Okay. Que vamos a hacer lo que estamos viendo ahorita. ¿verdad? Exactamente, ahí da mucho problema. De hecho, esperaba que alguien me, me preguntara, fíjese, en clase. Entonces, pero bueno, no lo han hecho, significa. Ah, sí. <risa> solo, solo eso me falta ya, fíjese. Vaya, ahorita le vamos a, pa a pasar la copia, no mentira, vamos a explicar. <risa> <risa> aquí está, mire eh, aquí le vamos a dar a usted el beneficio de la duda, no, le vamos a dar toda la razón y le voy a explicar por qué Bye. vaya, yo le expliqué que la estructura es verdad del sujeto y luego usted va a ocupar el, el verbo to be y el going to, be, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. lo que pasa es que el individuo o la persona uh -huh. que hizo la hoja de respuesta de uh -huh. esto este él no se dio entendido, dice complete las siguientes oraciones, ¿verdad? Con be going to. Entonces, uno como ser humano, ¿verdad? Uno va a pensar, voy a escribir todo, incluyendo desde he hasta phone, y voy a incluir el, el going to, o solamente voy a complementar, ¿verdad? El hecho de, porque esto es completar, ¿verdad? No es complementar, son dos cosas distintas, ¿verdad? <risa> Entonces, o usted complementa solo con el, el going to, que es lo que hice yo, o reescribe toda la oración, incluyendo el going to. Y usted dice, ah, qué chivo, ¿verdad? Usted va una por una, me funcionó. Número dos, me funcionó. Número tres, lo mismo. Y el número cuatro, hice exactamente lo que hice en las tres anteriores y no, no sirve. Entonces, aquí es error de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad es un error que usted lo puede detectar. Entonces, al final, yo lo que yo le recomendé al que, me, al que me consultó es, escribamos todo, escribamos todo. You are going to have a picnic next, next Tuesday. Y aquí yo solamente fui por descarte, prueba y error. Y le doy submit. Y tampoco ¿verdad? lo acepta acá. Entonces, como que, entonces, ¿qué es? ¿Verdad? Entonces, vamos a regresar. You are going to have a picnic next Tuesday. Entonces vamos a borrarlo. Right? Y aquí ya yo voy a saltarme el proceso, ¿verdad? Porque ya probé y seguí probando y gracias a Dios tengo los accesos del teacher. Me da la respuesta. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Se fija. Si sí, se fija. No está ni completa la oración. ¿Verdad? Y lo, lo único distinto de la 3, de la esta, es que le han puesto el you. Y cómo usted va a saber, ¿verdad? Que así tiene que ser. 
pero esta es cuestión de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Porque como es un, un programa y así lo programaron y lo hicieron mal. Por eso es. Pero usted entendió la gramática. Lo puse, la puse en, en, en mute, ¿verdad? Entonces sí puede quitar el micrófono, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Sí, ya. Ajá, yo la había hecho así como usted. <risa> Te quedó la cabeza. Ay, no me daba ninguno. Uh -huh. Hasta ahorita que estábamos viendo este tema, que vi que, que así es, uh -huh. Ya había entendido usted, pero como la, la cuestión esta está mal planteada, entonces usted ahí se confundió, ¿verdad? Pero ahí es, es, uh -huh. es cuestión de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, lo bueno es que se puede solventar de una forma u otra. Eh, uh -huh. Vaya, cuando yo los hago, si se fijan, no me da la respuesta. Yo, lo, yo tengo... Eh, por cuestión de ética y para ver, ponerme sus zapatos, yo hago los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Por lo menos los que me consultan para ver, ¿verdad? Cómo está. Y ya cuando miro que no funciona, yo digo, ok, la plataforma no sirve. ¿O será que hay algo que se nos está pasando por alto? Entonces ya ahí le doy yo ver la respuesta, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso que anteriormente no me aparecía eso, porque yo traté de hacerlas. <risa> okay, okay. Y, no, y no pude en la número cuatro. Pero ya, as you are going to. Ok. En esa sí tenía bastante duda. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo estamos para el próximo módulo? Todavía está en veremos. Sí, no, pero sí voy a seguir. Fíjense, no me, no me llamaron, no me dijeron no me nada. Ah, ok. Pero sí, sí, lástima. Sigue intentando. Sigue intentando. Sí, primero digo, sí, primero. algo va a salir mejor. Sí, tarde o temprano uno no sabe. Sí. De dónde. ¿Y usted qué tal? ¿Te va, ¿Cómo va tu bebé en camino todavía? Hoy me estaba diciendo mi esposa de que ya siente que ya se mueve más y ya siente las pataditas. Ah, de verdad. Tiene cinco meses ya. Tiene grande la panza. Ay, tan lindo. Al parecer niña. Bonitos. Niña va a ser. Ay, ya tengo el varoncito. El de la niña. Cabal la parejita. ¿verdad? Ahí vamos a cerrar la tienda. Ay, sí. Ay, no. En estos tiempos no, no se puede. Sí. Cuesta. Sí, cuesta con los niños cuesta un montón, pero ahí están por ejemplo a mí me toca estarlo durmiendo a las siete y media, siete y cuarenta siete y cuarenta y cinco, así como cruzando los dedos para dormirte, dormirte. que se duerma <risa> ahí anda el pobre niño en la tarde bostezando y así como que vamos a jugar, mejor me lo llevo a jugar vamos al parqueo, un parque para que gaste energía y ya después ya venga cansadito le preparamos comida estamos un rato por ahí jugando y hasta que ya siete y media es como que Cepillémoslo. <ríe> y él ya sabe. Sale corriendo. Más no, que le gusta mojarse. Ajá, cabal, cabal. Aquí me están escribiendo, mire, que no saben cómo hacer algo. Yo creo que la misma que usted me está diciendo. Ay. Ahí está, cabal. Yo ya tengo la copia, le voy a decir. Ah, la copia. ¿Qué número? El número cuatro, Eva. Sí. La número cuatro, permítame. Si hay algo más que le puede ayudar, así aprovechamos cinco minutos más que tenemos, este, Miss Flor. Eh, pues eh, en ese era el que más me, me, me estaba quebrando, ¿verdad? que no sabía uh -huh. cómo hacer. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y ahorita en lo que dejo mañana, pero no, no, no me fijé muy bien. Qué es es, es el listening, que se lo voy a poner mañana. Ah, vaya. Sí, si porque quiere... no, no lo tengo. No, no se preocupe. Eh, era... Eh, yo sabía que algunos íbamos a estar y esto qué, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero no se preocupe. Vaya, tío. Aquel día que, que estábamos en acabar en la clase, se fue la luz, ya no me pude conectar. Así me dice, me dijo usted, este, pero en los tiempos de conexión, creo que va bastante bien usted, fíjese. Ah, no, este... pero me mandaron un mensaje, porque mm -hmm. creo que dos clases y, y minutos es eh, 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 faltar. Fíjense que haciendo el cálculo, haciendo el cálculo, eh, el 80% ¿verdad? Es, significa que usted puede faltar más de dos días arriesgándose, ¿verdad? 
Ah, que no. Ajá. Pero obviamente, si, si se va la luz y, y de repente no puede, es como que no se puede, pero así hay que hacer todo lo posible. ¿verdad? Sí, ajá. A las tres, dice mi hora que vine. Y yo, como a esa hora que le escribí, me venía levantando, pensé que a esa hora había venido. <risa> como, era, como era el día asueto, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Eh, qué malo que no todos los sábados son asueto. <risa> Ay, pero mire, este que viene va a caer chivo. Fin de semana largo. Sí. Uh -huh. Fin de semana largo. Mother, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Sí. <risa> Vaya, eh, solamente vamos a recapitular un poquito con lo que estamos viendo este día. Entonces, eh, hay que tener cuidado en, en, en lo siguiente. No hay que mencionar el tú cuando usted ocupa el gona. ¿Verdad? Así que si usted va, va a hablar, ¿verdad? In, de forma informal, que así es como habla la gente, ¿verdad? O sea, la gente, si usted se fija, la primera vez que les puse esto, se lo voy a poner un, un instante. Este, ellos no dijeron going to, sino que dijeron. Eh, ahí está esto. Eh, ¿Se quiere lucir, Flor? Dígales así es la respuesta, es lo que están pidiendo. <risa> Perdón, este mío. Ya me la dieron, le voy a decirlo. No, póngalo ahí, si gusta, ¿verdad? Para, para que si yo le pongo el audio. Pero le voy a poner esto, ¿verdad? Entonces. Bye. Le voy a poner a la gente. Iván, no sé quién es él. Ah, Mr. Nelson es. Él iba a decir, Mr. Nelson, conéctese, hable. O sea, estuvo en la pantalla apagada. <ríe> Perdón, le decía la broma de que Mr. Nelson estuvo en la pantalla apagada. Ah, ahí está, mira. Escuchemos. Ay, de forma escrita no, no dice... Escuché, estaba callándolos aquí. <ríe> no, 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 no. De hecho, no se lo había puesto, no se preocupe. Bye. Ahí va. Page 72. Voy, voy a ponerle aquí en mute para que. Exercise 2. Conversation. Birthday plans. Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. When is it exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So what are your plans? I'm going to go to my friend Kayla's house. She's going to cook a special dinner for me. Nice. Is she going to bake a cake too? Bake a cake? Oh, I'm not sure. Vaya, si se fijó, ¿verdad? No dijeron going to, sino que desde entrada dijeron eh, gonna, ¿verdad? Sí, dice. Va, entonces ahí hay que tener mucho cuidado. Vamos a ver, ahí me están consultando con la número 18 y no sé qué. Va, entonces eso es lo que tener cuidado. No vamos a decir, are you gonna, are you gonna to do? No, are you gonna do? Yo le aconsejo que lo ocupe así, Flor. Para que hable más rápido, más fluido y de una forma más natural, ¿verdad? Y para que no se tarde mucho. Porque vamos a, no vamos a decir, are you going to do anything? No, va a decir, are you going to do anything exciting? Uh, are you going to, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Hay que acostumbrarse, ¿verdad? Entonces, all right, es un pequeño que le doy. Así que ánimo, hope to see you tomorrow. Ya es jueves, ya un día más de clase. Sábado hay que trabajar, yo también trabajo el sábado en otro lugar. Así que Ay, no. andamos en las mismas. Estaba ni modo. Sí, ni modo, en la, en la rebusca. Gracias a Dios, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. All right, so see you tomorrow. Bye, Feliz noche. Adiós. Bye.